Uh, explain to our listeners the title, Replacing Darwin, The New Origin of Species. The title has a, has a couple things going for One is, I didn't use a past tense because science is a process where you're continually discovering new things. And so I wrote the book wanting to set the research agenda for the next 50 years. And replacing Darwin because we've reached a stage in the creation evolution debate that I think is a, a real fulcrum, a real turning point. So you look back at the past 50 years, back to the Henry Morris, Dwayne, Dwayne Gish days, and there was a lot of, I call it defense, saying, no, evolutionists say this, what they're saying is not quite valid. They're, they're pushing it too far, and you, you can still understand what the Bible says with good science. But it's still largely defensive. They're making these attacks against Scripture. How do we defend the Bible against it? Whereas now, I think I feel like the tide is changing. There's so much data that's accumulated. Creationists are taking the lead on research that it's not just rebutting Darwin, but replacing his ideas with a superior explanation for the origin of species. Creationists are coming up with discoveries evolutionists didn't see coming and finding out new things about the world that we also didn't see coming. So that's the replacing part rather than just rebutting it. And it's a really exciting time to be in the middle of this.